To give an instrument its place in the sound field, you can adjust four parameters. The instrument's volume, its lateral position in the sound field, its depth or distance, and its frequency spectrum. Those parameters are interrelated, and changing one often means that you will need to readjust others. So you'll now mix the ensemble of the backup vocals that you packed into the summing stack earlier. You'll first adjust the vocal balance, spread them out across different positions in the stereo field, EQ their submix, and send it to a bus to apply reverb. When you start producing, adjusting the volume of instruments seems like an obvious task that can easily be overlooked to spend more time on more advanced challenges like EQ or compression. However, to achieve a professional mix, finding the right levels for each individual track is of paramount importance. For example, if you mix a snare too loud, it can become jarring and make the listener lose interest. To avoid those costly mistakes, make sure you take the time necessary to focus on the volume of each instrument. So let's go back into our tracks area. One, and we're first going to create a cycle area and then open screen two to see the mixer and balance the volumes. So on the haze track down here, let's click it. Let's go to bar 58, 57, 58, round right about there. Hey, 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 you can run away from what you got inside. Hey, hey, hey. So let's create a uh, cycle. And I use the set locators by selection and enable cycle. So I select the region and press U on my keyboard. And you'll see there's a cycle region and now I'm going to go back into my I'm going to open the disclosure triangle here and go back into my mixer and there's my summing stack well, didn't remember the name so at the bottom here I can click the disclosure triangle in the mixer and the haze track stacks opens and you can see the sub track channel strips within it let's have a listen again hey 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 you can run away from what you got inside hey 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 so you hear here mostly we solo in fact I don't want to solo them all so we just solo David here hey 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 you can run away from what you got inside hey 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 you can run hey 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 you can run away from what you got inside so you're hearing mostly this vocal here. So let's play it again. Let's mute it. Hey, 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 you can run away from what you got inside. And you can also see it's louder than the others. So I'm going to turn each of these up and down and have a listen just so I can identify what's where. Hey, 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 you can run away. Clean. What you got inside. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. You can run away from what you got inside. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. That's what I can hear. You can run away from what you got inside. So the problem is here is these faders aren't in the optimum position they're all the way down the bottom here so it doesn't give me much room to turn them down and turn them up so i'm just going to turn the master down a little bit hey 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 you can run away from what you got inside hey, hey. so i'm gonna i'm just gonna first of all i'm just gonna balance the levels out You can run away from what you got inside. 
So that sounds a little bit more mixed. When a mono channel strips pan knob is centre, the mono signal is sent to both the left and right speakers at equal levels, making that sound perceived as if it's coming from the centre of the stereo field, right in the middle of the left and right speakers. As you turn the pan knob, for example, to the left, the level sent to the right speaker is de decreased and we perceive the sound coming from the left side of the stereo field. Hey, 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 you can run away from what you got inside. Hey, hey, hey. If you were to pan all the way to the left, that's known as hard left and no signal is sent to the right speaker. Same if you went the other way. And if I press and hold Option and click, I can reset that to the center point. So in the Hayes track stack, there are three singers. And we can tell that from the names. And what we're going to do is we're just going to spread them out over the stereo field to get some separation. So what I'll do is I'll start by, say, spreading this one here something like 15 either side and then maybe having the center one a bit wider and then that one wider still and that one center Keeping that one sensor because that's the falsetto track and she's singing an octave higher which gives gives the track a unique character so we'll keep that center and it doesn't have a double track so I'll just keep that center so that's sounding a little better hey, 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 you can run away from what you got inside The sound of an instrument consists of several frequencies mixed together in varying amounts. By applying an EQ plugin to attenuate or boost certain ranges of frequencies, you can alter the timbre of the sound much as you would change the sound of your guitar tone or on your bass treble settings on an amplifier. EQ plugins help shape the frequency spectrum of your instruments focusing them in a specific frequency range and helping each instrument cut through the mix. Equalizing or EQing an instrument can also decrease undesirable frequencies in its recording to make it sound better and to keep it from masking other instruments in the same frequency range. Let's go through a few of these and we'll begin with the Hey vocals. And in the channel strip we can click up here where it says EQ in the thumbnail and the channel EQ plugin is inserted in the first slot. The channel EQ plugin allows you to adjust eight bands of EQ. You can toggle each band on and off by clicking the button at the top. And by default, the last band and the first band here are turned off. All other bands are turned on. Each band settings are shown below the graphic display in the EQ band fields. All the bands that are turned on by default have their gain parameters set to 0 dB and the EQ curve is flat. The analyzer button toggles the frequency analyzer which displays the post EQ frequency spectrum of the curve. You can change that to pre EQ. So we'll click the first band to turn it on. This is called a low cut filter and you'll see it, see it appear on the graphic display. You can see that low frequencies are slightly attenuated around 20 hertz and you can use the spacebar to start playback 
and hear the results as you adjust the channel EQ plugin. Hey, 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 here, look. you can run away from what you got inside. Hey, hey, hey. And you can hear a lot of low frequency content is cut off and the backup vocals start to sound thin and tiny. If I play the track again, you'll see that there's not a great deal going on below about 300 hertz. Hey, hey, hey. So I turn the band you back on. Run away from what you got inside. Hey, hey, hey. Set it around about there. again hey, hey, hey. you can run away from what you got inside hey, hey, hey. and you can hear that the low frequencies are cut and it helps give the vocal ensemble its place in the frequency spectrum of the mix <laughs> You will now use a couple of different delay plugins to position two of the vocals in different spaces. You'll place one of David's vocals in an intimate space at a short perceived distance and one of Amy's vocals further away in a larger space to give it depth to the mix. Then we're going to add a bit of reverb to the sum of the backing vocals to give dimension to the ensemble and make the group of vocals more coherent. So let's go back to the mix. And at the bottom of the haze track, click the disclosure triangle if it's not already clicked to open it. And solo track uh, 81, which is track 81. Let's go back to that first one there. So solo that one. I could probably have track numbers on here actually. Track number, there we go. So track 81, solo, have a listen. From what you got inside. So in the audio effects area here, just click the slot below the Guitar Amp Pro plugin and choose Delay, Tape Delay. By default, the plugin creates quarter note echo. So let's dial in a shorter slap back effect and make it more subtle. So if we click the note pop-up menu and choose, let's go for a 16th and he'll sound like he's more in a more intimate space. Let's make it a little bit more subtle by dragging this wet slider down to about 13%. Now on the Amy track, let's add a longer delay effect. So I've closed the tape delay window. And now here, let's navigate to Amy. Let's solo it. And let's go to just underneath the compressor. Click and go to Echo. It's actually up here at the top because it was one of the last plugins I used. So the most recent plugins appear at the top of this window here. It says recent there. Click echo. Let's have a listen. So let's, from the pop up menu here, let's choose uh, eighth note dotted. And let's drag the feedback knob down a little bit. 
you can you run, can away. run away. And we drag the wet slider down as well. Hey, 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 hey. You can run away from what you got inside. A bit flat and sharp that one, but maybe the uh, echo hides that a little bit. If you now scroll to the right of the mixer, you'll see an auxiliary named vocal verb, which is here. And you'll see that its input is set to bus 12. So the auxiliary was set up to process the vocal tracks in the song through a space designer reverb. And after that, there's a channel EQ to cut off the low frequencies of the reverberated signal. So to add reverb to an ensemble, um, we need to send the main track of the Hayes track stack to the auxiliary. So here, the main track stack in the send section here, we'll go to bus, 12 vocal verb, and now we'll send the solo it and we'll move the send level knob all the way up and then all the way down to have a listen. set it around about there So you've now created different delay effects to place individual singers in virtual rooms of different sizes. The perception of having the backup singers in different spaces gives depth to the ensemble and processing them all through the same reverb brings them together into a cohesive whole.